Stefanos, uh, you, you weren't too happy after the first round last year. How do you feel this year? Obviously better. <laughs> um, I'm happy to be... It was not easy. Last year was very tough mentally to deal with that loss. Uh, I know Dennis was a great... I mean, he's a great player. But uh, I didn't quite... Yeah, I wouldn't say I played well in that match. But of course, yeah, it happens. So... Yeah, really happy that I managed to play somehow, not maybe play well, but find solutions uh, in the second set. It was very hot, conditions were rough for us to play and compete. Uh, but um, yeah, we both served very well and was just, as I, as I actually said in the interview before, it's gonna, the match is gonna be decided in a few points on our serves, maybe tie breaks, which happened, we played two, uh, sets of tie breaks and points were very close everything was uh, yeah very close so I'm happy that I stayed calm and stayed aggressive uh, didn't think too much of uh, yeah what what the score is and focused more of, of, of me being aggressive and making him feel the pressure well done even if you beat my compatriot I would like to know to say that you lost uh, you never lost your serve. Yeah. And you I'm gave happy it. with that as well. Eh? I'm very happy with that as well. Yeah. I actually thought about it before. Yeah, and then only two break points uh, on two all in the in the fourth set. Mm -hmm. So that means that I mean you were always winning quite easily your serve, much much more than he did. So that, how do you explain it? I mean, I've been working a lot on my serve and the placement of my serve during the preseason. We all know that serve is very important in men's tennis. Uh, it's a big weapon, and you gotta use it correct. You have the ball in your hands, so you are in charge. You are in, in control of what's going to happen when you serve. So, um, really happy that I've kind of trans transformed my serve, made it better, uh, smarter. I actually mix it up a lot. Um, there's a lot of variety now in my serve. Um, I try to mix the second as well try to go to different places and uh, um, make my opponent guess most of the time so it's good that I've been serving so well today uh, definitely add some this thing adds some confidence in my game knowing that I can serve well in crucial moments and uh, in general I would say yeah really happy and really re felt really nice of the idea knowing that I was actually serving that well a follow-up, just to say, uh, do you think that his return wasn't so great? Aggressive. Probably, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. He, I don't know. You, you know, it's. I had. I mean, I, I was struggling with it as well. It was. It was not just him struggling with the return. I also, um, the the bounce of the ball was pretty high, and uh, it was sometimes uncomfortable to return. The the the, the surface was pretty fast which gave uh, less time than usual to both of us after the bounce of the ball. I felt like the serve was going much faster than the week before in Sydney and we had less time to react on what's uh, on our return. So I think, I mean, I'm pretty sure we're going we're to get used to that, playing a bit more and uh, adjusting to the new conditions. I think after you played her, <coughs> excuse me, after you played her at Hamlin Cup, you practiced with Serena, yeah. yeah. After you played her in mixed doubles, you I did practice with Serena. What, how did that uh, opportunity come about, and, and what what, would, what was it like? Uh, it was all, I mean, arranged by Patrick. Um, he, I mean, yeah, he invited me for for a hit. I said yes. It was a great opportunity to practice with her. She she was practicing really good. I would probably say even better than some of the male players that I've been practicing with. She's not easy. Uh, yeah, it was a fun, fun practice, fun, fun hit. It was not too long. I enjoyed it. She's a very interesting person, very open-minded. I would say she had lots of topics when we, were, we would sit down to drink water or rehydrate ourselves. She would. Uh, we talked about some interesting stuff, and uh, yeah, it was a fun hit. What kind of topics was she interested in? Tennis, the tour, uh, pretty much, you know, tennis stuff. <laughs> 
Stefanos, um, since you've come on tour, pretty much all of the top players have had serious injuries, and obviously the last was Murray. Um, when you see that, does that make you weary of overplaying, like now and going into the rest of your career, or do you want to take advantage of yes. the Yes, yes, of course. Thought about it. Uh, I would say that tennis is a, it can be a cruel sport for the body. Uh, there's a lot of pressure, there's a lot of running, there's it's it's really tough for the body to i would say to deal with that uh day to day um play and uh yeah there's a lot of tennis is a sport that not, not like other sports you know you have you have every every part of your body is working so it's really important to have a healthy career a long career with no injuries that's number one priority for for my career um it also depends. The, I mean, the style you're playing and the way you approach your yeah, the way you're thinking on the court. You know, uh, if you tend to play long rallies, uh, I mean, aggressive baseliner, you're probably yeah gonna have mu much more running to do than a, a servant volleyer or someone who's um, an all-around player. Uh, but I'm yeah, I'm tr I'm think I'm, I thought about it. I'm really sad to um, to see how Mari felt. After that uh, press conference that he gave, I felt sorry for him. Um, I, I respect him a lot. He's a really nice guy. I would say one of the nicest guys on tour. And um, um, I mean, I'm gonna miss him. I would I would love to see him on the tour more. Yeah. Can you can you talk a bit about the about the crowd support that you received today? Obviously, big something groups. unusual. Is that something that you're expecting here in Melbourne with such a large Greek community and? What do you, what do you feel about it? Because they then marched over to the Melbourne Arena and were cheering on Sakari as well. For sure, uh, haven't been used to that atmosphere in a tennis court. Obviously, last year I played against Shapovalov, it was pretty much the same. But uh, yeah, the the like, <laughs> they like noise when they're in the court. They they try to, you know, give that energy to the player. Uh, I love the fans. I mean. They're a bit different <laughs> than the other fans that I had in other tournaments, but uh, I do appreciate how much they care and how much they respect and love what we're doing. Stefan, <laughs> you, you like to look at things from a, a bigger perspective. What do you think makes Serena special um, as, a, as a person and a, a sports figure in our culture? Her attitude, for sure. She has a different approach than any, I would say, female player that I've met. Uh, she's very... She has this thing, you know, she's really... How can I explain it? She has a lot of confidence in herself. Like, really, she... Um, she knows what she's doing on and off the court. She's a lovely person outside the court. Uh, and just this attitude that she has of, you know, Hating to lose, and uh, that's what that's what make, makes her a great, a great champion. That's what I noticed on the course. She even on, pra on the practice, she really wanted to do better than me, and that was, you know, unusual to see something like this from from uh, from a female player. Um, uh, when you when when she's yeah when she's playing against uh, a male player, but uh, yeah, I do respect her a lot what she did in her career, and um, she has something different than the other players. Uh, Stefano, there's been a lot of talk about possible changes in the ATP and uh, players not happy with uh, Chris Kermode and the job he's doing as president and wanting a change. I'm just curious what your what your thoughts are. I know you're relatively new to this tour, but what your thoughts are on that? About about what? About about Kermode and the job he's doing and if there needs to be some sort of big yeah. change in the ATP. I don't feel like there should be any change. I, I really like uh, the way the tour operates and the, its president. He's a lovely guy. He's trying to do the best for our sport, and uh, I do believe that the tour is growing. Things are changing for the good of the players, and um, it's a slow change. It's going to take a couple of years, but I'm really confident and positive on the, on the outcome at the end. Yeah. Uh, sorry, for the first time in about 40 years, two Italians are in the top 20. Yes. Uh, Fognini and Cecchinato. I'd like to know if you think that Berrettini has uh, the quality and the, as a prospect to get to the same uh, area, or more or less, or and what are his 
weaknesses. Did you say after 2000? The first two no. Italians to uh, be in the top it's 20? It's the first time in 40 years. 40 years? Yes, wow. that we have two in the top 20. 20. I believe uh, Matteo has... Same time. Yeah, yeah. I believe Matteo has the game to be in the top 20. Uh, I've played a lot of young guys. Uh, his game is big. He has a huge serve. Great forehand. Um, his backhand is decent. He, it's good. I think he should be more aggressive sometimes from his backhand side. But uh, overall, his game is really, really, you know, he doesn't have really big weaknesses in his game. Big, let's say, I would, I would call, I would say, holes in his game. He's an all-around player. He comes to the net, likes to come to the net. He's tall. He's strong. Um, he has, I would say, he, he does, he has the game for a top 20 player. And I've played a lot of them. Yeah. Thanks.